Hello everybody, my name is Petr Koutny and today I'm going to show another amazing and one of the most famous chess game ever. And today I will show game Karpov Kasparov. Anatoly Karpov as a white and Gary Kasparov as a black. Linares 1993. And what to say uh, interesting about games between Karpov and Kasparov? Of course, everybody knows that these two chess legends and former world chess champions were fighting to each other for the best chess player on the world at that time and nearly every game between Karpov and Kasparov was really full of life, energy and fight and you will see at the end of this game how Gary Kasparov is going to beat and finally checkmated Anatoly Karpov. So that's something unusual and maybe for this reason I believe that this game is interesting and it's good to see this game till end. So my name is Petr Koutny in front of you and in advance of this video I'm going to ask you for follows and likes and hopefully you did and you are following our YouTube chess channel and now let's come back because the most interesting part of this game is exactly waiting for us. So we are still somewhere in the middle of the theory. Of course, um, chess theory is sometimes too long, too boring and too complicated, but uh, a6 and now uh, white took it on e5. I I remember a very old and golden chess advice. The players who is going to first change a pressure in the center is losing advantage. And maybe because of this, this is not the best move at all. And uh, maybe Karpov missed um, Kasparov's answer because Gary Kasparov is going to take by a knight and he is not worried, of course. He is not worried to lose this pawn because this is not exactly a losing pawn because this knight is going to take back pawn on c4 and maybe this bishop. If this bishop is not for free, if nothing, at the end of all variations, black should enjoy two bishops advantage. So b3 and b5. For another time this pawn is for free, but it's not for free because here is a full compensation. And the reason why um, white is not taking immediately pawn on d6. So white decided to take on b6 right now and Gary Kasparov opened a rook. So it's important to believe or to follow another golden chess rule. Bring all your pieces to game as soon as possible. And that rules was something like a trademark of Gary Kasparov because Gary Kasparov was doing his best to give a life to his pieces and his pieces was usually strong and very well placed. Now Karpov is going to take pawn on d6 but yes maybe Karpov is pawned up and he believed that his defense is unbeaten and he is able to, to to take care about all black threats, but what I am worried is this white setup. Too many white species in open position are sitting and doing nothing and for one pawn maybe this is a risky position. White has to finish his development until he will not save his king. He will be in danger. So for one pawn <laughs> okay, only for one simple pawn. It's a question if black's got full compensation or no. Yes, of course, without any doubt, black has to avoid the queen exchange and he did. He played knight d7 and f4 is probably a losing mistake. Uh, the best answer should be queen d2, but if a white is playing this move, that's a first sign that something is wrong. You know, white is losing a time, tempo, and still his pieces are too bad. So what's happened? F4, and maybe I can't imagine why this move is a mistake. Uh, firstly, uh, knight g4 is not the best answer because of bishop d4, and maybe that was a variation what Anatoly Karpov saw and he believed that he is absolutely okay. Maybe he is nearly winning. 
but Gary Kasparov surprised him and played amazing move b4. Just another golden chess rule. The best defense is attack. And if our opponent is attacking our knight, why not to do the same to our opponent and why not to attack his knight? b4 happened and now let's see here is another pawn that's a really interesting why Gary Kasparov is going to offer another pawn say for nothing but it's exactly for nothing so say if and that's only variation white is taking on b4 I think c5 make a sense change exchange okay there is a queen for free but the biggest biggest danger is check on d3 and here is coming back this uh, queen say um, rook taking on d8 check uh, this is a queen coming back and at the end i'm sure that white is losing because we are nearly at the end of the variations and if you are going to check white pieces and black pieces I'm sure it's not hard to see that uh, white is pieced down okay that was a variation and simple for this reason maybe queen c5 is another option but check 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 and even here Gary Kasparov is able to win this game without any difficulties so for this reason uh, that was a uh, mm, good move before and uh, maybe the, the best it was take on e5 and here to take on c3 but still i believe that uh, white's king is in a danger and because of this um, white's army is in a danger so it's not fair to speak that white is winning because has more pawns no way uh, white has difficulties until white's king will not be in a safe position Still, this game is double edge and everything is possible and the game is open. But that's another story because Anatoly Karpov played knight b1 and this is uh, too passive and too bad. You know, with the bad pieces, it's hard to imagine that there is any chance to win this game. And now, finally, black played knight g4, of course, is attacking this. Uh, this bishop on e3 and still watch this king because this king will be sad hero of this game at the end because hmm, he will be checkmated uh, let's watch this rook because this rook is attacking this pawn and you know too many threats and uh, too many too many problems for white uh, white decided to play bishop d4 or maybe um, bishop g1 is another another chance okay on a2 is a pawn going down and uh, maybe h3 is a check g3 and here is a check on e2 and this variation will tell us that yes this position is danger uh, but at the end of all variations all variations leads to white mm, lost uh, all variations are one for black and even here the main reason why white is losing is of course his king so if this game should give you an inspiration or motivation or a lesson how to be better chess player just remember that your king is the most important piece and has to be safe without this golden chess rule it's very difficult to believe that you are chess improver so okay let's come back because after knight g4 what's happened bishop d4 happened and now this exchange uh, sounds like uh, this exchange is going to help white then black but uh, still um, white's army is only a rook bishop or rook knight and knight and that's not army that's a really bad bad uh, position of white species doing nothing in nearly open position and okay here is one pawn here is a threat here is another threat here is open fire too many threats and only white king on Ivan is watching around and asking what's happened with my army what's going on what's wrong because I don't want to die today <laughs> sorry it's too late for him so white took on a2 h3 and c5 
Okay, another time Gary Kasparov is not thinking about defense, but he's thinking about attack and how to attack our opponent. So C5 is another surprise. Uh, this after this move, um, knight f6. Okay, once Gary came back, but he is not coming back only for no reason. He is going to attack pawn on e4. So for another time, white sent pawn is under attack. E5, knight e4 and h4. Nice position. You know, I can't remember since last time I saw such a bad pieces of Anatoly Karpov. Anatoly Karpov is a master of pieces. He's master of strategy and he knows how to place his pieces. He knows how to play chess, of course, but now he's absolutely outplayed and he's only waiting for the last shot. Uh, variation which I should give you and Gary Kasparov um, spoke with newspapers that after uh, Queen e3 he thought that he is winning after bishop b7 and after knight d2 he will take on d2 another exchange and knight b6 and finally he is absolutely sure that he is winning this endgame without any difficulties and I'm sure that he is right. The difference between white's last three pieces and white's and black's last three pieces is so obvious. So Gary Kasparov is winning this position because of better piece placement and he's right. So that's nice to see how Gary Kasparov was thinking and how he was evaluated his positions and exactly here he's sure that he is winning. So let's come back because this game is not long. So he, here happened h4, c4 and uh, c3. And this pass pawn is going forward and for another time. Uh, last move, one more time. Karpov played knight c1 attacking this rook and Gary Kasparov is not coming back. That's a nice. That's a nice because everybody knows that the best defense is attack. But of course, it's not as simple. It's hard to play chess like that but not for Gary Kasparov. C3, great. And C2, of course, another great move. Uh, Kivin D4 and now, finally, let's check the material. Check, check and uh, Knight C5. The biggest, biggest issue of this game is still this king and this not working army. So finally, let's watch how White's king will be checkmated. Even he's trying to escape of all his problems. It's too late. Knight f2, bishop f5, uh, maybe rook uh, d1. And we are not far to imagine that White's king will be checkmated. So rook g1, check on f5, rook d1 and rook b1, checkmate. And yes, maybe looks like a simple victory, but you know, behind this victory, it has to be lots of work, lots of talents and very hard work. So finally, at the end, Karpov is checkmated, Kasparov is winning. And at the end of this video, I'm absolutely sure that this game is amazing. You know, I'm enjoying to watch this game again and again and again. And because I'm at the end of this video, I'm going to ask you for a second time to be our follower. So feel free and press like or press follow and be our another new followers. Thank you very much for your support. I hope I'll see you soon in our another YouTube chess video and take care. See you soon. Bye bye.